The political earthquake started earlier this week when San Francisco District Attorney Chesed Button was uh, thrown out of office. Now uh, it could be extending further south to Los Angeles, where the District Attorney George Gascon must be looking around and saying, could the same thing happen to me? My next guest hopes so. Uh, John Tommy joins us right now, the L.A. Deputy District Attorney. Uh, we did place calls to Mr. Gascon's office. We have not heard back. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Tommy, let me ask you a little bit about that. First of all, uh, is this recall effort gathering steam against Mr. Gascon post what happened in San Francisco? The clock is ticking on George Gascon's failed administration, his criminal friendly policies, and the reign of George Gascon here in Los Angeles. Uh, I've been up and down the county uh, helping to collect signatures for this recall, and I can tell you this, the majority of Angelinos have had enough of George Gascon. So I do believe it's collecting steam. Uh, we have about 26 days left. The deadline is July the 6th, and I do believe we're going to get the necessary signatures to get it on the ballot. If you just look, we have murderers out here in Los Angeles who are toasting George Gascon, who want to get his name tattooed on their forehead, and now they're on phone calls saying they better get deals or plea deals because they believe George Gascon is going to be recalled. He's basically the best friend of murderers while he f refuses to meet with families uh, or victims, um, he refuses to, to do anything to help families to help victims or to help children uh, in our community. So the crime that we're talking about, we're showing images out of Los Angeles, uh, John, uh, uh, you know, it's actually worse than what's going on in San Francisco. So there might be more of a pent up appetite to at least get him on a ballot for a recall. Uh, how likely is that? I believe you need about 5 million signatures. What can you tell us? We need about 566,000 signatures. Oh, so, you know, uh, that's okay. San Francisco has about 500,000 registered voters. We have about 5.5 million registered voters. So we need 10% of that, which is about 566,000. We really, though, need a lot more because, you know, when we bring the signatures into Norwalk, uh, where they're supposed to go, uh, the elections committee may kick a lot of the signatures and say they're not valid. So we need to all put our best foot forward. Uh, as far as the crime, we're at a 15-year high in homicides here in Los Angeles City and Los Angeles County. Uh, we're, we, we're a major increase in grand theft autos here in Los Angeles City and Los Angeles County. Uh, we have numerous smash and grab burglaries, follow home robberies, um, violent crime is on the rise, and use of firearms, especially the use of firearms in robberies, has increased dramatically here in the city and in the county. And it's not all George Gascon's fault. However, a major portion of what's happening is the fault of George Gascon and his policies, which clearly tell everybody here that they're not going to be held accountable for their criminal actions. So I do believe we're going to get the signatures, but we need to fight, fight, fight until the deadline, which is July the 6th, and keep getting those signatures. Now, you are the deputy district attorney in Los Angeles. Do you want his job? Um, I've had a lot of people ask me that question. I've served seven years in the United States Army. I've served 16 years in the district attorney's office. I handle major child murder cases. Uh, I'm raising my children here. My wife's a police officer here. Uh, I'm not leaving Los Angeles, and I'm going to keep fighting for my community, uh, no matter where that is. Uh, but right now, um, my main job is being a father um, and being a child abuse prosecutor and trying to do my best to support these victims and support survivors who feel abandoned by George Gascon. And so I'm going to continue to do that in whatever role the community wants me to do. All right, so that sounds like a yes. You'd be interested in that job. I, I, I would say right now it's best to deal with getting the signatures. I think it complicates things when people start talking about who's going to run for the office. Um, I think that my goal, my mission uh, regarding the recall is to get the signatures, get the ballot, and to get George Gascon out of office. I believe 99 percent of the people here in Los Angeles would be a better prosecutor, a better DA than George Gascon, someone who's never tried one single case in, in, his, in his entire career.
We'll watch it very closely, John. And Tommy, thank you very, very much. Uh, keep us posted on those developments. By the way, as I said, we did put out a call to George Gascon's office. We have yet to hear back. We've tried. Uh, we always try to be fair and balanced here from all sides here. Uh, so if anything happens on that front, we will keep you posted. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.